So if you've watched any video I've made on Assassin's Creed Unity, you would know I love this game. I constantly talk about all the things it did right, all the improvements and innovations it made in the Assassin's Creed formula, and how the game had crazy potential if it wasn't released unfinished and broken. However, while Unity certainly did a lot right, and as dear as this game is to me, it still has some very obvious flaws, and parts of the game still remain broken to this day. So I figured let's go over what Assassin's Creed Unity did wrong, and some of the things that held it back from being the best Assassin's Creed game in the eyes of the community. I've also made these kinds of videos for Syndicate, Valhalla, and Origins if you want to check those out. Anyways though, one of the first things I feel Assassin's Creed Unity did wrong involves the story. Now I feel there's a few issues with the story in this game. I still don't think it's a bad story, but definitely could have been better. One of the main problems I found with it was its antagonist, Germain. In my opinion, Assassin's Creed has never really had the best and most memorable antagonist. Al Mualim and the board are probably the ones that really stand out to me. Maybe Charles Lee and Haytham as well, but Germain in Unity is very forgettable to me. They introduced him pretty late in the story and literally had you help break him out just to find out he's the guy you were looking for this whole time, which was a pretty underwhelming twist. Not to mention his backstory and motivations are pretty lackluster. Essentially, he believed he was meant to carry out Jacques de Molay's great work and create a capitalist society for the Templars to control. His ideas were not very popular with many in the Templar Order, mainly with Francois de la Serre, so he was exiled, which then left him to recruit advisors to his cause and assassinate de la Serre to take over as Grand Master. It's not necessarily bad, it's just kind of generic, nothing really special or unique about Germain, other than being a revenge target for Arno and Elise. Honestly, I think it would have been pretty cool if Shay Cormac was the antagonist, but whatever, that's besides the point. <laughs> Germain just felt generic to me and pretty forgettable in the grand scope of the series, so that definitely could have been better executed in the story. There's also the main theme or focus of this entire story, which is the complicated love story between Arno and Elise. I think for the most part it actually works pretty well and is a fitting choice for a game set in Paris, and I like how it develops Arno as a character. What I don't like about it is it often overshadows everything else in the story. I get it, right? That's basically what this whole story is about, but it's too much sometimes, and I wish there was more time spent in other areas of the game, like giving Germain more build-up or screen time, or even more time spent in the Brotherhood, which was probably my favorite parts in the story, and I definitely would have loved to see more of that. Now as for the gameplay, I think generally speaking, most people really like Unity's gameplay, specifically the parkour, however there's a few issues with the parkour. For one, the responsiveness. It at times can be very difficult to control Arno and get him to listen to your inputs, and a big part of that is because the game restricts your movements and automates it in some areas. Not as bad as Syndicate, but like Syndicate, indicate it doesn't let you make what the game considers unsafe jumps or drops, even if the jump wouldn't even kill you. Like, just try jumping off a far height. The game will pull you towards certain objects to grab onto, or just flat out not let you jump at all. I had a perfect example of this in my co-op with subscribers video, where I parkour down onto a window ledge and was literally stuck. The game would not let me move or jump off, so I was just stuck there chilling like Spider-Man. I'm like stuck on this window, I can't vault down, it won't let me... Cause it's uh, like below me. Are you purple? I'm purple. I'm blue. Okay. Oh, okay, you're stuck there? Yeah. I love Unity's parkour system. <laughs> and I love so how buggy. you're when you're on a wall, you're literally glued to it, and you can't just like let go. That's so nice. <laughs> not can't... like you could literally not like I can't you even die. Just... How do I get out of here? Uh not like Okay, um... Why are you stuck on that? What? I don't you know, dude, drop. I just- I just dropped down and caught the ledge, I don't know. Just... Hold on. Um... You're not drop you... anymore, or no? I don't well, know. no, because it's not a safe distance, yeah. and he's on a wall. Um... Eject. You should be able to back eject. Just, like, mash... Mash high-profile jump. Not... It's not letting you back eject? Nope. <laughs> So yes, while the parkour looks great and has some fantastic animations that can feel really smooth, it can also be extremely unresponsive at times and a little restricting. Another thing, for some reason they removed catch ledge in parkour. That was something that had been present since AC1, and I guess since they figured they wouldn't let you make unsafe jumps that you wouldn't need to catch a ledge, but that's absolutely not the case. There's still plenty of instances where a catch ledge option would be useful. For example, when you're climbing something and then get shot by an enemy and fall off, 
there is this really rare animation that I believe is called Breakfall, where Arnold will actually catch a ledge while falling. But this animation is so rare, I've probably gotten it less than 10 times, and it's completely random whether or not you get it. And I couldn't even get it as an example for this video. I also think there's some general jankiness in the movement, which you can definitely get used to and learn some good tricks with, especially involving things like the cover system. But that's something that was definitely polished more and improved on in Syndicate. The combat is very similar in a lot of ways. I think many people actually really like Unity's combat system, but there's flaws with that as well. For one, there's not a consistent button to dodge gunfire. There is the roll, obviously, but it's not always effective. This is again something Syndicate added, but in Unity it can be really annoying, especially with how the AI can pretty much aimbot you even through a crowd of people. The weapon balancing is also very one-sided. One-handed swords dominate this game. You can get one-handed swords that deal the same amount of damage as some of the heavier weapons, with the only difference being they're much faster, which doesn't leave much reason to use a two-handed weapon unless you want to shoot grenades out of it. So I wish they had done a little more to differentiate the weapon types and balance things out a bit more. And finally, one big thing Unity did wrong was introducing microtransactions. Now, they are nowhere near as bad as they are now in Valhalla, but when you let Ubisoft get away with them on a smaller scale in Unity, it's clear to see how they ever so slowly ramped them up with each game after it. The microtransactions in Unity are used for buying gear or weapons with Helix credits. The good thing about it is everything you can buy with real money in the game can also be bought with in-game currency, and nothing is locked behind a paywall. There's no dumb, exclusive Helix credit only outfits or XP boosters or anything like that. However, microtransactions really don't belong in this game in the first place, and even if it's not major, it's still very anti-consumer, and is what led up to what we now deal with in Valhalla and every new Ubisoft game, really. They don't belong in AAA single-player games, and once you let Ubisoft off the hook with it, it's only going to continue to get worse and more present in each game, as is evident if we look at microtransactions from Unity to Odyssey and Valhalla. Anyways, that about sums up most of the major issues I have with the game, and like I said, I love this game, but there's still a lot wrong with it that I just can't overlook. So anyways, let me know what your thoughts on what Assassin's Creed Unity did wrong, and if you have anything to add. I'm sure I missed something that someone in the comments will point out. But if you're new here, consider dropping a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribing to the channel for more Assassin's Creed and Unity related content in the future. I have a whole playlist dedicated to Unity if you want to check that out. And other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, Assassins. Thank you.